I certainly look at how we've progressed just in my lifetime uh, and just been amazed at what humans can do in, in space and, and the exploration out there. I mean, literally the physical excitement that you can get doing something that is new and hasn't been done. How can we do this and share it with the world and open up opportunities for other people? And we were doing the, the cave expedition and we were going out into parts of the cave and literally mapping out the cave that had not been mapped before. I mean, every day you got woke up excited going, what are we gonna find today? And the, the beauty in the cave was just astounding. It was like another planet because it's nothing you had ever seen before. It was very much like being in space in that temperature was always the same, the humidity was always the same. You never knew what time it was um, because it was always dark. So you had a lot of really good analogs to spaceflight. The aquanaut opportunity in the Aquarius habitat off the coast of Florida um, was another one. We were down underwater for a week where we're doing simulated spacewalks with hard head diving. We're out there for you know four or five hours and working with a simulated mission control. We're doing time delay like we would if we were on Mars. And so working through those types of things was really a neat part of the mission. And so if we can send astronauts to do training like that, then they've done this extreme environment, that extreme environment. So when they get to space, it's not the first time and they're overwhelmed. It's just another extreme environment that they're able to participate in and to just train, to expect extreme and just cope with it when it happens. I'm Randy Bresnik and I'm fortunate enough to be one of your astronauts. Subscribe for more space.